Good morning. Today is August 16th. And we're going to start with the daily reflection on the Old Testament. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. Proverbs 13, 24. President Gordon B. Hinckley said, I have never accepted the principle of spare the rod and spoil the child. Children don't need beating. They need love and encouragement. Good parents are like good shepherds who guide their sheep by gathering the lambs in their arms and gently leading them along. The shepherd's rod is never used for beating sheep. Rather, it is used to protect the sheep and guard them from going in wrong direction. The word translated rod in Proverbs 13.24 is translated in other places as the word of God. David himself, once a shepherd, said of the Lord, Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. A better translation of Proverbs 13.24 might be, He who withholds the word of God hateth his son. He who loveth his son corrects or teaches him early on when he is young. A little parenting tip for y'all. All right. Today is Psalms 61 through 63. Um, David finds shelter in the Lord, abides in the Lord's presence, and keeps his own vows. David praises God as his defense, his rock, and his salvation. The Lord judges men according to their works. David thirsts for God, whom he praises with joyful lips. All right, so. The side-by-side -side has something for 22. Um, 20, oh, 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. Good is... God is a refuge for us, Selah. I just woke up. Okay, so continual prayer. Another manifestation of our having placed our trust in the Lord is the fact that we pray unto him continually. We do not supplicate with authenticity unless we believe in the infinite power of the Lord. Question. Do you find your thoughts focused on the Lord with persistence so that you are drawn out in prayer unto him continually for your welfare and also for the welfare of those who are around you? As Amulet counseled, if so, then you know that your trust is fully vested in the Lord. Um, uh, it's good. I just don't have anything to add to it. Um, there was something. Oh, yeah. Verse 8 in 63. When I was reading last night stuck out to me. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth, upholdeth me. My soul followeth hard after thee. I don't know. It was just something that made me think. And then also, verse 10, I thought was interesting. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. There's a song on one of my um, soundtrack CDs called Portion for Portions for Foxes. I'm like, what the heck does that mean? What What is this song about? This is so weird. Obviously, it's a song. All right. Now I will leave you with a prayer from a diary of prayer. August 16th, this is from a book of common prayer prayer of an invalid pope. O God, who knowest us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, by that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations through Jesus Christ our Lord. All right, that was a... Uh... Psalm 61 through 63, and we do 64 and 65 tomorrow. I'll see you then.